Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco here. Today we're going to talk about is XRP more decentralized than Bitcoin than Ethereum. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to play a little interview from Bad Growling House. I'm going to play, play that in a bit. And then also guys, I'm going to look at some key articles, some numbers, some facts, some statistics um, and, and share with you my thoughts on whether XRP is decentralized or not. And if it is not centralized, um, if it is decentralized and if it's not a security, XRP can have some great great future and, and from an economical and a price point of view as well and from a technological point of view as well so let's play that video is xrp centralized or decentralized it is very clearly decentralized you know i as ceo of the company can't control the xrp ledger i can't change a transaction the irony of this is as xrp the xrp ledger has become more decentralized bitcoin and ethereum have become more centralized you've you, obviously lots of people are aware of the 51 percent of tax you now have three miners in China that can control the Bitcoin blockchain. If you want to watch the full video or read the full interview, read this article, guys. It talks about what Brad Garlinghouse said. And the main thing I wanted to share with you guys, he th he basically said, even if Ripple doesn't exist, XRP can exist. And that is, that's the kind of the logic that he used. And he talked about Ripple is a centralized company investing in decentralized technology in the same way Amazon was investing in TCP IP in some way. So that's that's the argument that he used so let's get into the first uh, article that I want to share with you the first thing that you need to determine is what does decentralized mean so in some ways some people can argue XRP is more decentralized than Bitcoin and some people can argue the other way as well so there are different arguments that can be have that can be had so one thing is how does it work so Bitcoin utilizes proof of work and um, whereas XRP uses a consensus algorithm, Byzantine consensus algorithm. If, if you guys are, uh, are cryptographers or if you guys know how coding, then you probably understand it better than I do. And then the network majority control. So Bitcoin is, is at a risk of 50% uh, of losing its 50 51%. Then people can uh, use, use kind of control the whole network essentially, which, which is wrong really. But XRP does not allow that because it hasn't got hash power centralization because um, it doesn't require hash power, hash power for validation. So that's a positive for XRP, I assume. But again, XRP, a lot of XRP is still owned by more than 50% is owned by Ripple, although it's held in escrow. I'll come to that. So yeah, this is the ownership it talks about. Uh, I, I, this talks about many believe that Ripple could shut down XRP Leisure, um, but uh, and it is possible for the network for, to function as long as the minimum amount of validator nodes are functional. Moreover, XRP Leisure is open source. So that's a positive thing that people probably it's a misunderstanding because. Brad Garlinghouse said there's a lot of misunderstanding of Ripple. People do not really understand Ripple to some extent and, and probably share negative news about Ripple, which is not really correct. So Ripple's decentralization strategy. So Ripple is trying to uh, get XRP to uh, to be less centralized and this is what Dave, Ripple's Dave Schwartz is trying to do. What makes a system decentralized is not how it solves the double spend problem but whether anyone has a legal right to run the system or can exploit information symmetry to run the system or otherwise coerce the users of a system to accept rules they don't want. So this is his argument that it is uh, decentralized few negatives about Bitcoin that you can argue with again these are, these are just articles that I'm sharing centralized is owning everything this is still centralized because few miners own a lot and in in Bitcoin's case I believe four or five Chinese uh, three or four and hot could hijack entities could control let's pretend and pull btc.com via btcft are not including businesses not just one uh, entity pretending to be five so if they work together they can cause some bad uh, bad they can cause some bad things guys they could completely ruin bitcoin again if you're a coder and know a bit more about the the details of it correct me or let's have a discussion but this is just this article's talking and it shows you how much can china control can governments get together can someone just buy because what's the market cap of bitcoin if someone just buys the whole market cap of bitcoin is it possible can government buy a bitcoin so there's loads of interesting uh, uh, conversations to be had and again this talks about it's just, just a funny thing that it talks about how government could essentially raise money because uh, China if you look at the amount of miners Bitcoin has got in China 
this is just very interesting thoughts. I don't think it will happen. I'm not spreading fart because I am a massive believer in Bitcoin. Although I'm uh, from a financial background, I'm more of a trader and investor. Uh, I'm really interested in cryptocurrency, blockchain, and how the how the technology works. And I am definitely a blockchain enthusiast. So these are two articles from Ripple. Again, you might say this is a Ripple article. Why are you reading it? Because it will obviously be biased. But it, it just shares some really good information that will give you that will help you understand a lot more about um about ripple and xrp and the concentration of control again this this chart it shows very interesting that uh, four mining groups control 58 percent of bitcoin where ripple runs seven percent of xrp ledgers it was i wasn't too sure about that i thought it would be a lot higher and the control over time is saying that bitcoin and ethereum are becoming more centralized among a few mining pools whereas xrp is becoming more decentralized I've talked about the decentralized uh, decentralization strategy update and what they're trying to do. What well, they're trying to currently over 70 validator nodes are running globally and what they're trying to do in the future to get it more decentralized. Um, one negative thing uh, that people talk about is Ripple itself owns um, 661 61.3 XRP although a lot of it is in escrow but still Ripple owns a lot of uh, XRP which is something that people do not like because if someone owns that much is, is it really decentralized so that's one negative about XRP that people do not like but they are held in escrow so Ripple can't just dump it Ripple could have dumped all of it uh, when it reached three dollars but it hasn't so again you've, you've got to trust Ripple because you, you need to trust them a little bit uh, I suppose so that's one negative thing that people always bring about but you can argue about Bitcoin and Ethereum so that's so the main thing I want to share with you guys is it's about you you need to understand what's important to you and do you understand Ripple do you understand XRP if you understand it and if you truly believe in this project more than that project then you know arguments can be had for Ripple and against Ripple and some of it are strong arguments so it's up to you to decide and have your own argument and your own logic and if you believe in XRP go believe in XRP if you believe in Bitcoin go believe in Bitcoin but that's something that in this channel guys I'll, I'll try to share with you the both positives and the negatives and Ripple owns about 60 of the 100 billion although they're held in escrow and they can't just dump it um, so risks of centralization again this is another really good article it talks about the political decentralization and some of the philosophy and theory kind of behind um, this blockchain technology and about NEO as well another project that I really like it that's got some problems as well uh, with nodes and, and and it's a good example of why decentralized plays a fundamentally important role in Bitcoin so if you want to if you're really interested about Bitcoin blockchain and cryptocurrency centralization ever read this article finally guys I want to share with you this tweets I've had a lot of tweet conversations with people um, and this guy Dr. T is really he is a very knowledgeable guy on on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, and I've had a lot of tweets and conversations with him, and and things that something that he talks about um, is that Bitcoin is also has a single entity that fully controls development of network. Again, he ex he's exaggerating a lot. A lot. The Blockstream has a big part to play, but he's exaggerating slightly. Fifty percent of XRP is in public verifiable escrow. Nobody knows how much BTC the biggest holder Satoshi has, and there is nothing nobody say that it can dump. And someone can just buy, keep buying Bitcoin and dump it, I suppose. But again, those are just kind of really in depth thinking that you could do and it talks about kind of how you can sh even with one percent selling so ripple and xr R ripple can just dump all their xrp they have to kind of do it uh, with limited even if they sell one percent each month we will know that they did that before the first month have to wait before they can do it again giving the market time how can you show that some arbitrarily large percentage of bitcoin won't be dumped tomorrow they have got some good interesting arguments uh, that's why i said guys this is a really again if you follow me on twitter I, I'll, I'll retweet some of the tweets because this is really interesting conversation that i've had with him so this is what i like um, this is just what I want to share with you if you are interested in ripple and xrp make sure you learn and understand more about it before just buying and selling so again thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it i hope you've learned something and usually i do a bit of a technical analysis i have actually let we could a uh, do a bit of a technical analysis of what's going on with xrp i suppose let's have a quick look 
yeah, it's very tight equilibrium pattern, guys. Not much is going on. Um, if, I, I mean, I've talked about this before. It needs to say about this 50% level. So in short term, guys, very tight equilibrium pattern in an unstable pattern. It could break down um, to kind of this below this 50, uh, for this around this level. There is some support around the 61, 618 level and this uh, previous highs for uh, 42 cents. So there is some support, but hopefully it can hold these levels and break out. This is what we'd be hoping for. Uh, just a quick impromptu technical analysis. But on my channel, guys, I do both the fundamentals and technical analysis and give you price prediction, trading signals, the whole lot. So if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you scroll down and subscribe to my channel i also make interesting xrp videos if you are a fan of xrp so thank you very much for watching this video guys if you have enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button and leave your xrp address below if you want to win 250 dollars worth of xrp so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it Smash that like button, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys soon with another great video. Thank you very much.